Hello again. Uh, I want to talk to you about trust. I've talked to you about wills. I've talked to you about the probate process, about um, the intestate law process, and I want to talk to you about wills. My name is attorney Anthony Spratley. I'm the owner and founder of Genus Law Group here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where we practice family and estate planning law. Now, like I said, we talked about wills, how wills can be contested, wills uh, becomes when you probate the will becomes a public process um, just like if you decide to die without a will um, that process too can become a litigated public process uh, because uh, someone may contest how the property should be distributed based on the intestate laws of new mexico and again we talked about how probate can be lengthy and can and it can be very expensive when you get attorneys involved um, in the probate process how do you avoid all, all of that? You do that by uh, forming uh, or uh, putting together a trust, right? Uh, trusts, you have very simple trusts uh, to very complex trusts, uh, but they all serve a primary purpose, and that is to keep uh, the uh, distribution uh, of assets upon your death, that process private, right? Unlike the will process or the intestate process, if you die without a will. And so you have to take a look at a trust uh, from a different approach. Say, for example, uh, you own um, a company uh, and that company has a warehouse and it has assets uh, within that warehouse and those assets are in the name of the company. And if you passed away as the owner of that company, well, guess what? That building is still there and the assets are in the name of the business. Those assets are still there um, within the business, even after your death. And you should look at a trust the same way. A trust itself is a legal entity, just like that business. And everything that you put in that trust becomes protected by that legal entity. And upon your death, there's a person, because you're the grantor, the grantor grants and puts things into the trust. Uh, you have a trustee who, upon your death, will make sure that the property is disposed of, distributed, um, uh, from uh, the trust uh, into the hands of your uh, beneficiaries. The nice thing about trust is that again, like I said, and primary purpose, most folks do a trust is for the privacy um, of what happens after uh, your death. And also the cost, right? You don't have to go hire um, an attorney to help distribute the assets within the trust because it's already laid out in the trust how the assets, how the property is to be um, divided amongst uh, specific uh, beneficiaries. So again, the trust is a legal entity. The trust, the trustor, the grantor places um, assets into the trust uh, while he's alive and uh, or she. And upon uh, execution of the trust, there's a trustee that's assigned to help uh, ensure that when uh, the grantor passes away that the trust is uh, or the assets are distributed in accordance with the terms and provisions of the trust that is kept private and the costs are minimal and you don't even have to hire an attorney uh, to help those assets get distributed. If you want more information about why a trust is probably the best idea for you, you can find out more information on our website. You can also go to our Protector Success Podcast on Apple Podcasts. All right, folks, so next time, um, I look forward to uh, speaking to you again. If you know anyone that may be interested in this content, please share this video with them. Thank you.